And I'm ready. And Noel's here with the original. The original Lunar Rover. All right. Talk a about it. Of things. A built-in measuring board. Oh, because that's... what you get on a surf cart is just about useless. So the measuring board, you put the Pompano's tail around here. And I put my favorite measurements, Pompano, Bluefish, Black Drum, Maximum Black Drum, and redfish measurements. So it's nice. easy to measure putting the fish's tail around your rod holder. Great idea. Removable handle for pushing, of course, the four tires. That's where the Lunar Rover came from. Look at that. This that's is different. a bracket from boat railing, and that's what this is made out of. It's from boat railing. Perfect. Yep. That's awesome. Spike holder is pretty, pretty common. Um, here, I've got my shark lasso which is a piece of PVC and cable going through it. And that's just so you don't hurt your hand. That's a racquetball full of silicone glue. <laughs> so when you tighten down the lasso, it's up here. Yes, sir. You don't hurt your hand. Uh, getting your bait tray away from, getting your bait tray away from your stuff. Oh, yeah. so you don't get bait juice and your stuff. That's a great. But speaking of stuff, Three different sizes of ammo boxes. Fit perfectly with a 72 quart cooler. You got the biggest ammo box, a medium size one, and two small ones. Sinkers from the sinker guy go in two coffee cans. I separate them by size. Four ounce and six ounce in this can, and three ounce and five ounce in that can. And where'd you pick up your ammo cans at? Uh, that's West Marine. Okay, perfect. Big water bottle that'll last you almost all day. Fill it full of ice and water. It fits right there. Look at that. Perfect. And I think that's my modifications. Oh, one more. Small crab trap. Small crab trap hooked right here. This is simply some copper grounding wire. Yes, sir. When I take my crab trap to the beach, it'll fit right there and I can push it. Yes, sir. A couple of towel hooks and my favorite. A shark call, not a duck call, shark, shark call. call. <laughs> That's it, the Lunar Rover. Well, there it is, one of the originals. All right. Great car. And here's Mark Burford, Florida Surf English cart. Look at this. Look at this car. Oh, look at that. Is that removable, Mark? The handle is. Pop yeah. right out. Pops right out. <laughs> Turn it around so it fits in the garage bed. Introduce yourself. You're the one that made that. Hey, it's Mike Kennedy with Black Creek Mud Motors. I uh, help Mark with his cart, and I'm doing fabrication on carts now. Oh, awesome. So you know how to get him. I'll put the, his number in here so you guys can see it. Mark's got this guy jacked up. Look at those 49 centimeter tires. Those will roll over anything. Florida Surfer tackle bags. Fantastic. Akios reels. Favorite reel. And my favorite rod. Oh, look at that. Over the bar. 12 and 13. So, what do you want to, anything you want to say, Mark? Nothing but, hey, this is a good turnout today. A lot of surf fishermen here. People's got fish in their cooler. If you're not fishing, you're losing out. You need to get out on the beach and you need to use Florida Surf Angler and over the bar rods. 10 4, I agree. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This beast. Oh, hello. Hi, Chip. How are you? My name is Monty Gomez. Okay, my cart comes with two LED strips or navigation lights. They're both 12 volts. I got an aerator here that's also 12 volts. Look at this. That is hidden inside here. All wires right now are run inside the frame. And oh, wow. they, just for more cleaner to look, and they come into this box, which is powered by uh, Milwaukee M18, which has a step down that drops it. To 12 volts so that can power all my units okay now i also got a horn two horns just to for safety people that come by me i got one that gets louder over time okay and one that will grab your attention right away. oh yeah that'll get you not to sit next to you <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> tell me about the seat oh this is for my daughter whenever i fish with my five-year-old this is her seat she rides with me oh look at that so she won't get tired and she can join me oh that's awesome and the aerator yes sir and I also got a marquee. Oh. <laughs> got bait. That's cool. And custom colors. 
That's awesome. Well, thank you for uh, sharing your card ideas. Thank you. Which one are we going to go for? It? Wayne Stevens. Uh, just started on this cart. Uh, it's pretty standard PVC, hold your sand spikes. Yes, sir. Um, got the mesh sides, mesh bottom. Look at that. That's Switching crazy. over to the wheelies. On the switch. Highly that. recommend them. Yes, sir. The only time ever come close to Oh my. Tackle box. That's that's the right tackle box right there. That's not playing around. Even everybody wonders how to carry the sinker guy sinkers. Well, there you are. I saw them in there. Yep, they're in there. I saw them in there. Yeah, I like that uh, the mesh. That's a good idea. Side, and bottom. Look at that. That's beautiful. Great cart, great cart, Wayne. Okay, Jerry. <laughs> I won't. I won't put you on. Okay. Get in front of it. Get in front of it. Smile. There you go. You love fishing? Not really. I do, but not that much. I don't like waiting. I like. Oh, you like catching? Yes, ma'am. I understand. He's impatient, like that. Ah, it's all side. Here's a little plexiglass side. That's a good idea. You need a new sinker guy sticker on there. Yeah, where are they at? Yeah, right here in my pocket. It's gonna go on there. <laughs> Look at that. Easy flared these out. I think he's got a uh, place for all the extra line. That's a good idea. Great idea. Great card. Then we got the ultimate keg carrier. <laughs> <laughs> when you're thirsty, and you've been fishing a long time in the hot sun, you can pour yourself a nice cold one when you're done. And the last mod I got on here is my sand chair carrier. So, and this fits three chairs if you're bringing guests. And another rod holder. And also it holds the uh, sand for you. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this is my... So what happens, the stand spike holder, so you're fishing, you're not catching anything, you want to move to the next run out 500 yards down, you just reel it in, wrap your weight around here, take everything out of the sand, put it in here, boom, next spot. That's, that's a genius idea. You know, I don't know, my, my board is dirty, I don't know if it's that dirty. Oh, that might We're saving that for the next trip. Sex, next trip. Whoa. What's that? All that. that yeah. He's going to leave me. Cart's 100% all <laughs> built by hand. It's all made out of three quarter inch conduit PVC pipes for the uh, rod holder. <laughs> took, it, took little pipe straps for the electrical conduit. Hold the set. The rake. Oh, yeah. The handle comes right off. It all folds down, fits in an SUV. Oh, nice. <laughs> PVC pipe for all my sand spikes. Kept it wide enough that where I can fit two coolers or one cooler, two chairs. Yes, sir. Keeps all my rig bags and stuff down in there. I'm still running my old conventional reels. Oh, yeah. I love all them. one piece welded <laughs> out of about three pieces of electrical conduit. And I take it you made your sand spikes too? I did. Took Noel's design and I welded my own. There you are. Great. You don't have to have the expensive cart. You can make one. Right there it is. Prime example. Great job. Appreciate it. Well, here's here's Brian. Hey, those are some nice tires. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about this cart. It's a work in progress. Uh, this is a run and gun cart. It's designed so it could fold up in a small car. Uh, once you get it out, you can run down the beach. Nothing stacked on top of each other, so I don't have to unload it to use it. The chairs are going to be on the back. Sand spikes will be built into the uh, cart. Oh, look so at that. Put it in, take your rod out. Where you go. Boom, boom. Um, but it's got some, uh, sorry about that. It's got some cool features. Um, Let's talk about them. So, 
once you're done fishing, you can fit in a little key. So, and it does. I tested it last night. <laughs> All right, so get your chairs, take everything out. Now I still have a lot of detail work to do to it. Well, tell me about tell me about that sand spike there. What did you do? That's a Van Stahl sand spike. <laughs> no, um, I've made a few of them, made them for Paul. Uh, they seem to love them, so I'm trying it out. I made this one a little bit lighter, uh, uh, five eighths uh, round bar. Drilled out the aluminum. Weighs about a pound and a half. Ooh, that's light. This could be shined up, look a little nice, um, but it's just for pocket or fishing. It's not for putting sharp rods in. You know, say 15 pound on max. Uh, tested out today, it did awesome. So I'm gonna finish the other ones up. You know, they're just a little, uh, just a little compliment to the cart. Yes, sir. All right. So once the cart's unloaded, um, oh, full of pins. Oh yeah. This comes off. Now this can go in the car, or I'm gonna make a hitch for it where it'll fit right on the back of the car. You can drive out on the beach and have your rods and cooler hanging off the bumper. Well, look at that, and there's a pompano. Yeah. Look at that, I didn't even see that. That's cool. A little art, little jewelry. Yeah, that's right, awesome. So that could, uh, that could be right on your hitch. This, still working on the uh, the pins, but once I pull the pins, it folds up. Oh, wow. It fits right into the car. That's so, genius. It's still got a lot of work to do to it, but uh, it's, it's probably going to be my travel cart. The running bridge and pier cart. The run and gun? Is that what you run, call them? The run and gun, yeah. The way I fish. Okay. I don't, I don't park it in the spot all day long. You know, we'll fish 15 minutes. If we're not catching fish, I, I want to load it quick and move. Running down the beach. So we'll run to the next run out and run to the next hole. Tell me, tell me why the slanted on the... Well... They're slanted because once you kick this back to push it down the beach, you don't want the rod to smack you in the face. Oh, there you are. So I, I leaned them forward 30 degrees. And that's, um, that's thinking outside the but box. But also, I'll go pier fishing. You know, we can pull it up to the edge of the pier or bridge, and I can put my rods in there. Don't even have to lean them against the, uh, the wood the railing. railing. That's a genius idea. One, maybe two rods. Yeah. But, well, that's yeah. awesome. Well, let's look at this. Let's look at your second cart. That's oh, the running gun. This is a. Now this the winter. This winter, this one's going to get the uh, the works. Um, it's just a fishing mate senior. Um, I got 60 inch spikes. The uh, good things about these, you see how they stow. Oh yeah, it's that's. It's not a big mess. They just fit nicely together. That is nice. Um, I built a side rack. Same for the running gun theory. You know. Uh, uh, theme, you know, once we get to where we're going, you know, I can just pull these out, drop it in, and just pick the rod up. The rods are all, well, normally uh, rigged up already, already got it baited up, wrap the sinker around the handle, so all I got to do is pick it up and it's ready to cast. Fantastic. Um, nothing sitting on top of the cooler usually, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's going to be a four-wheeler this, this winter. Oh, sweet. This, this two wheels killing me. Don't, for <laughs> don't forget your cup holder. I'm gonna walk around the back side of this. This actually was by far the best mod I made for this car. It, it's perfect. I mean, it, it holds them, the rods don't flap, it holds them perfectly apart. Yes, sir. That's a great modification. And, and if we're on the beach, I could just drop them right in the rod holders and drive down the beach like that. Oh, yes, Otherwise, sir. Otherwise, we're putting them in the, uh, the roof racks. And he's got the, the two lead roof rack. Yep. I think that's and how you say it. The, uh, the cart rack. Uh, the fishing mate senior just locks right into it. It's got a 45 degree kick up, so you got more ground clearance in case you do go up a hill or something and not dragging the cart. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So, uh, that's, yeah, that's big. That's heavy duty. No one's going to break that one off. Like mine. If they do, they're going to pay dearly <laughs> with, with damage to their car. Yeah. <laughs> so, and make sure that you. Leave a little reflective tape on there so they see it. Great job, Brian. All right, the founder of this little uh, get together, Paul, tell us about your car. He's getting put up right now. Check this all out. Um, it's a uh, fishing mate senior that has been added uh, two, two new axles and four new tires, the Ooh. wheelies, 16 inch. 
Um, I've got the extruded aluminum floor put in. Oh, look at that floor. Pop riveted in place. Um, my ruler, a lot of people add these, but my little unique add to the whole thing was putting a little nose bump. Oh, yeah. And uh, so that way you're only looking at one end of the fish. You yes, slide sir. the fish up there and look at the tail. Um, Let's talk about this. So this is a... It's, they call it an ammo box, but it's really, uh, oh. I, I don't think it's heavy duty enough to be an ammo box, but it's, uh, a dr I call it a dry box. Nice. So, clothes, extra bait, my fish bites are in here, rag, gloves if I need them. Um, stuff cool. that I don't want to get rained on. A little rubber gasket here does keep it kind of weatherproofed. Um, Where'd you find that at? Uh, so that was an Amazon find. Whatever it is, that's the, I can't read it. It's called uh, Antoine or something. Uh, D and D case guard. D and D case guard. Oh, the sinker guy sinker. Yeah. And fish bites. <laughs> oh, let's uh, talk about the front here. Yeah. So that's my uh, little pompano bling there. Oh. oh. The grill. Yeah, the grill. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. How do you, how do you do? What's the your uh, so your spikes. So the, the sand spikes I've got. Uh, I had Brian make these for me. Oh yeah. Um, nice. Maybe on this side I've got some headroom. Uh, using the one inch C PVC, I put the oh. sand spikes and go straight in, and I can get oh, all four great. mounted that way. Oh, we got a little notch in there too. Look and a little that. notch so they stay dressed the same way. And then I purposely went with longer axles to give myself two inches on the side. So if oh, I have crazy. other one inch C PVC projects, I can keep going without losing the real estate. Oh, that's a great idea. Down the side of the cart. And the extra two inches, yeah. uh, maybe a little wider stance, a little more stability. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then uh, using that same CVPC, I used the, uh, you know, just some uh, Lowe's oh, or Home a... Depot. Yes, sir racks and uh this this these aren't glued in so i can actually take this all the way out if i wanted to yes sir um but they just swing out for uh my chair i put my chair against that uh sand uh sand flea rake um but i like having my spikes closer to the cart instead of all loaded up on one side yes sir that's wonderful This, this one has advanced, and obviously he's putting in the back of his truck, so he made some yep. ramps. He's got uh, where he can step up under the truck. Yeah. Yeah, a little fold-up ladder. Those are a lot lighter than the ones, those metal ones that I have. <laughs> and there he is. That's how he's loading it up. A pro getting it done. And there's Paul's mod. <laughs> So this handle uh, is awesome. It's reversible. It comes out. You've got a welded super well there. So you just shift that around so it fits in the truck and is perfect. Well, here's Kurt and Courtney's cart. This is one of the great things here is this modification here. Super awesome. Uh, the one big thing is you can actually, when fishing, use, the, use that bait, that holder. Like I'll show you my cart later, but I can't use the three rod holders. Obviously the bait bucket's awesome. Four wheelie tires, pretty simple uh, walk around here, but you guys can see it. But this this is the the Cadillac of of Cadillacs. I'll just say it that way. So, and there's Courtney. Say hi, Courtney. Hi. And, and Kurt. Here's, uh, here's just a customized cart that uh, you guys might like. Uh, you've seen a lot on the videos. I don't know if uh, this is the one for you. One of the big things that I have different than most people is a lot of people have where they uh, put it in the back of their truck. I will do a little modification to show how I use my truck when fishing on the beach but uh, in, a, in the next video. But uh, the one thing is I didn't want to put my, my cart in the back of my truck. So I have a modification of just a little rack. Uh, and at the end of this video, you'll see uh, how that's constructed too. It's customized, it's about to my belly button, so it's easily pushed, uh, easily pulled. One of the things, if you're gonna modify the, the handle, 
uh, Harbor Freight makes these uh, makes these uh, chairs. They they're 20 bucks. You can get them, but Dad cut off the the little uh, table on the side, so they fit. So you can get three or four chairs right there on that. So that's kind of nice. Also, with this space here, you can ha have some other customizations. I uh, think so. One of the big things is is uh, the weld goes all the way down, and Courtney uh, and Kurt Cart has this removable handle. I really like that idea. Uh, so if I was to do another cart, that's what I would do. Uh, Robert uh, ended up putting this on there, building me a nice uh, little uh, cutting board here. One of the big things is, is everybody asks where they store their sinkers. I store them in here. Normally I just a bungee cord over the top so they don't uh, bounce out. So. Um, Here's how I get started on the day. So I turn my car to open that up. I pull my, my bucket holder out. I pull my bucket out. This is just a Plano bucket topper. And some people have seen it, but always have cash in there. You never know what's gonna happen. I also have my carry rigs in there, but this will also keep your bucket dry. This then at this point, this goes in the bottom of my crate. So then it's a flat surface if I'm gonna put any of my cameras or anything like that. And then this bucket's gonna be, where I'm gonna store most of all my fish bites, my pliers, anything that it need to be uh, kept dry or relatively dry. And so now I'm, I've got a workstation, workstation double, and then I'm gonna keep my water, whatever else in this. Uh, sand spikes, uh, they actually, uh, null uh, sells these sand spikes, but they also, they fit better if they're alternate in this rack. We just didn't do it when we, this last time. So when we're, all of my little zip or my all my little bungees are going to go right inside here when I'm when I'm on the beach so then I know where they're at so then there's no problems now I'm starting to work my rods out very simple cart design if you uh, I'm gonna turn this cart and look at you but I've got my umbrella which is very important I've just one up one over and this one's a little narrow just so you know I would I would have that a little bit bigger just a little bit wider and uh, to get things away so we can use these rod holders. And I talked about on Kurt and Courtney's that, you, that I can't really use these rod holders and they can, which is uh, very big. Dad has made one customized uh, to the cart here. And this cart's been uh, six years. It has 42 inch or 42 centimeter tires. Uh, they're not worn out by far, but they do look not as good. But we're gonna put a little drink holder up here. Uh, so the bait tray is not uh, knocking that off, but and then it hides right there on the inside over the cutting board and it just swings out uh, if you need it. So one of the big things is, is with this cutting board, it's angled a little bit so the juice runs out this hole onto the ground. So very, very, very simple. Hopefully this has helped you guys uh, make some modifications. Go ahead and look at the uh, cart um, holder. When that sits in there, I don't have a lot of sway. It's got two holes here. I put. Uh, a ratcheting strap to hold my cart down. Uh, that's probably the biggest uh, safety. And always get a locking pin made by Quat, but it's lockable so then your cart doesn't get, or your uh, your cart holder doesn't get stolen. So, and that's that's big. You never want that to happen. So, that's just a little bit of uh, information. These are around about 20 bucks. So. Thank you, enjoy. Hit subscribe down below. Lots more coming, thank you. The most unique cart you can go to Mon for be able to have his little girl ride on the cart with him, which is awesome. So he's going to be the winner. He doesn't even know it. He's standing right here. Most unique cart. Oh, thank you. You are the winner. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anything to put the family on the cart and push them around, that's, uh, that's, worth, yeah. the, that's worth the win. So. Thank you. Yes. And the most unique add-on uh -oh. is going to go to Brian Curlett to, for the advancement of the of the new run and gun cart. Run and gun, yes. There's uh, nice. fish bites donated. Those uh, Ooh, a hat wow. and a shirt. Thank so, you. Appreciate it. Great job. Nice. Eddie was uh, able to come over today to get his customized sinker guy sinkers, Ju colors, and uh, Eddie the beer man had a phenomenal addition on his cart, but he won the dirty cutting board. Tell us what you think, Eddie. Thanks, Chip. And I just want to say that cleanliness is overrated. <laughs>
Eddie from Eddie the Beer Man. Enjoy. Here's how that bottom of that cart is assembled. Just got a little T on both sides, support it. So then when you look at this side, just got a nut here, nut there, nut on the bottom. Keep it from tipping. A couple holes in it to, to drain it out here. Uh, and that just goes right into the hitch. Uh, cart just goes right in and out of that, which is, which is perfect, so. A little customization, so somebody wants to do that. It's pretty, pretty awesome.